The DINET UI app was not working for people. I was not having the issue that everyone was mentioning. So I recently re-imaged my machine so that I have a clean install, and then I tried it again. And lo and behold, now I too have the same error message. The error says could not find part of the path. This error is misleading and is due to a limitation with the code and how the shell output doesn't provide the actual issue. I couldn't figure out how to have the output show the actual issue. Anyways, after some debugging, I found that it was due to it not being able to activate the conda environment from code. So I have made updates and now include another setting in the config file. This setting called Anaconda Scripts Path. You will need to change the value to where your Anaconda Scripts folder is located. If you use default Anaconda install settings, you should just have to change this to your user ID in the path. I also added some validation before trying to delete the directory. The way DINet works is that it creates a new folder within the same folder where your video file is. That new folder will be named the same as your video file. So as a test, I create this folder myself and create a text file within it. We don't want DINet to overwrite this folder and then the application to delete this folder as it may be our own folder. So now let's run the app and check to see if the new validation works. It says existing directory found and that we should either delete it or rename it. Great! I'm just going to rename it to something else. Now let's rerun the application. And now it says the config file value for the Anaconda path is not correct. That is because I didn't change it from the default value to my own user ID. Let's open that config file. For my Anaconda scripts path, this here is the full path. I can copy paste this whole path or just change the ID to my user ID. I can change the ID to my ID here or just paste the entire path to the scripts folder. When done, save and exit. Back in the application, we will need to relaunch it to take the new value in the config file. Let's try the same test again. This time it should run successfully. When it gets to the DINet part, notice how it will create a new folder here called Test22, which will be the same as our video file name. In this folder, DINet will extract all the frames from the input video. Once it finishes creating the final video, DINet will not delete this folder. So as part of the cleanup, I coded it to delete this folder. Once DINet finishes, it should launch the video and delete that folder. This is all wrong. And that images folder is deleted. Great! I have updated the code in GitHub with these changes. You can also download the new version from the releases section. It is this version 1.0.1. .1. You can download the zip file, which should have the exe and config files. Thanks to all who commented with the error message they were receiving. I have no idea what was different with my setup before where it worked for me, but after the re-image, I am glad I was able to recreate the issue. That is all for now. Thanks!